In this program and example, we will be making a ring milling inside of our workpiece. From our example part print, you will see that we have two defined radii at the center of our workpiece. A pocket will be machined between the outer and inner radii, leaving behind an island or a boss at the center. Our selected tool for this operation is a 1 half inch diameter end mill. From the main menu, press T, followed by 2, and press cycle start. The axis should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete and press cycle start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. From the main menu, press the P call key. Using the arrow key, cursor down and select the ring milling operation. Press enter to continue. XC is a center coordinate along the X axis. In this example, it is three. Press enter to continue. YC is a center coordinate along the Y axis. In this case, it is minus three. Press enter to continue. RE is the external radius. In this case, it is 1.5. Press enter to continue. RI is the internal radius. In this case, it is 0.5. Press enter to continue. ZS, this is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above the starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of a quarter of an inch. Press enter to continue. Z, this is the starting point on the Z axis. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. P is our total depth. In this case, it is 0.5. Press enter to continue. I is the depth of cut per pass. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.25, meaning it will only take two passes to get to our final depth. Press enter to continue. FZ, this is the penetrating feed rate. This value is entered into inches per minute. In this example, we'll be using a value of 10. Press enter to continue. F, this is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of 10 inches per minute. Press enter to continue. RPM, this is your spindle speed. In this example, we are using a value of 2,500 RPMs. Press enter to continue. Tool, is your tool number. In this example, we are using tool two. Press enter to continue. This is your milling step over field. To ensure clean cuts, enter in a value less than the diameter of your tool. In this example, we will use 0.1. Press enter to continue. Using the half key, select the machining direction. In this example, we will use the counterclockwise direction. Press enter to continue. Using the half key, select the spindle direction. In this example, we will use clockwise direction. Press enter to continue. This is your feed rate along the axis during the finish operation. In this example, we are using a value of 20 inches per minute. Press enter to continue. This is the amount of material we are removing on the finished pass. In this example, we will leave 0.01 for the finished pass. Press enter to continue. N is the number of times it will repeat the finished pass. In this case, we will leave it at zero. Press enter to continue. This is the amount of material we are removing on the z-axis during the finished pass. In this example, we will be leaving 0.01 for the finished pass. Press enter to continue. Let's confirm the cycle in 3D graphics so we can check for errors. Select the graphics icon key. Select type of graphics. Select 3D graphics. If necessary, press clear screen to remove any unwanted graphics currently on the screen. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. Confirm that the cycle has finished with no errors and you are now ready to save or execute the cycle. Note, if the graphics are too small, press display area and select optimum area. The CNC will then automatically adjust for best graphic view. To execute the cycle, press escape twice. You now see that there is a cycle start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press cycle start button to begin executing the cycle. This concludes the ring milling example. Please feel free to rewind, pause, and review any part of this video to improve your knowledge of the 8055i MC CNC control.